Welcome everyone to an awesome showdown between a rubber duck of war as the Wood Elves versus Loco Genial as the Beastmen. This match took place on Mosquito Swamps with an epically fast clash. So over here on the right hand side in the vanguard position we're going to be seeing the Beastmen. Four units of the Chaos Warhounds, two normal and two here with the poison as well. And four units of the Tuscal Chariots. One here with a Wargore with Will of the Dark Gods and also the double normal. So one normal Tuscal Chariot on the right, one here at the top on the left and also the Brace Shaman of Wild. He will have two spells which are Vile Tide and Brace Scream and be a very good anti-infantry support hero. So over here on the left, we are also going to have the third hero, which is going to be the anti-large and armor-piercing Gorball, with Slaughter's Call and Blood Greed. So for the Lord Choice today, we are going to have Torox, the Brass Bull. He will have Blood Beast, Slaughter's Call, and also Blood Greed. So here as well today, we are going to have the Monstrous Beasts, with the armor-piercing Razor Gore Herds. Very good support on the floor, with an amazing Sky Force. Two units of the Terror Causing Ferromanticores and three units of the Fast Harpies. But for the Wood Elves today, we're going to be having lots of infantry spears, six units of the Eternal Guard, three without shields and three with shields. Flying high in the sky in the front of the build, we're going to be having the Sisters of Twilight with the Eagle Quiver, Conjoined Destiny and Vantage. We'll also have the amazing Sisters of Thorn with their double abilities here with the Curse of Anera and the Shield of Thorns. And in the back, we'll also have the double units of Zotes. So Zotes have their Flesh to Stone and their Earth Blood, really good supporting and also no mana costing abilities with the Spell Singer of Life. She'll also have the Earth Blood, Life Bloom, the Dwellers Below, Power Stone and also the Opal Amulet. So quite the nice build here from a rubber duck of war. So shots coming to the front. It's like immediately going to be shooting at the harpies initially. But I think the anti-large arm piercing shots could be fired into the ferromanticore. Coming forward is going to be the poison arrows from the Sisters of Thor. 90 range from them. But they certainly have some good missile strength. So fortunately missile strength is absolutely no joke. So they're going to be firing to the harpies. Slowing them down and just reducing those stats as well. Moving forward is going to be the forest dragon. Really getting in and trying to get rid of all these harpies using its terror. Curse of Venera coming from the sisters up against the harpies. And it looks like for the forest dragon. Shield of Thorns going down as well. And what else do we have here? It's like, yeah, just going to be Shield of Thorns fighting up against the Ferromanticores. So that will more than likely be coming from the Zotes. What else have we got here? Flesh to Stone giving that plus 60 armor. Whilst it really tries to duel in the sky. Actually terrifying. Three units of Harpies and now fighting solely up against the Ferromanticore. The first one here was actually called into Rampage by damage and was now fighting up against the Anti-Large Spears. Ooh, so a nice overcasted Voltide there in the middle by the Bray Shaman, followed there by a nice second Brace Scream. But charging in the front is going to be the Zotes, the anti-large and armor-piercing monsters here, fighting up against the Bray Shaman, perfect with their mass and also with their big hammers. Fighting the back is going to be the Sisters, they're going to be shooting here and assisting the Dragon up against the Ferromanticore. And it looks like both Ferromanticores have been broken. That's really good for Rubber Duck of War. But it looks like we are going to move down onto the floor using the Harpies. Going to be trying to pin in the Sisters of Thorn. All of these units are going to be surrounded. But this could be a Dwellers Below. Oh my god it is. And this is so much good value up against all these fast units. The Chaos Warhounds and Poison. The three units of Harpies as well. Actually breaking one of them as well. That's really, really nice work there in the middle. We do actually have... The Gore Ball fighting alongside Torox here in the front line up against the Eternal Guard. Perfectly designed to take out these big single entity monsters. Fighting in the front up against the Zotes. Breach Game's not going to do too much there. It'll be much better up against the Eternal Guards. Coming back here, it looks like one of the Ferromanticles did come back to fight up against the Dragon. But it looks like we do have the Sisters here to shoot just to assist. It has Rampage and it has now broken. So some excellent work there. The second one is going to come back to try and aid in the removal of the Sisters. But this one has broken. Awesome, good damage coming through. Balance power starting to shift. It's shattered. Really nice work there. The second one is still going to be pretty healthy. It could come back, so we'll have to see. But the Zotes have been broken. As we can see, this nice core here of the Gorbal, the Bray Shaman, as well as the nice Wargore and Torox holding together nice and strong. These four very good single entities fighting up against all this cheap and cheerful chaff. 
So we are going to get some healing in the middle for the Forest Dragon and also the Eternal Guard. Shield of Thorns going down as well to try and aid with that physical resistance. We can actually see that... Ooh, some nice anti-line shots going into the Wargore. This is a really nice target. This single entity here can really rack up some very, very good value. Chasing up against the Spell Singer, trying to get rid of that healing and also the Dwellers below. It looks like the Brave Shaman and the Tuscal Channel is really trying to cycle through and do some good damage up against her. Coming over, though, is going to be the Forest Dragon. Is that going to be... Oh, it's going to be a beautiful breath attack here. Oh, oh my god, even destroying. Oh my god, we destroyed both of the heroes here on a Tuscal Chariot. Lost the Brace Shaman and also the Wargore all in one go. It's like here in the middle, Torox is going to be fighting. But we also have the Forest Dragon chasing up against the Tuscal Chariots with the anti-large spears in also support. Over here on the right-hand side, we are going to have the Zotes with Flesh to Stone for the extra 60 armor. Fighting here up against Torox and the Gore Ball. And that's so why we have broken and shattered the Razor Gore Chariots. Wavering here is going to be the Lord and Hero with the Gore Ball. And Wavering as well in the back there with those Warhounds. Brilliant game here from both sides. Very, very fast. Really intense. And it really does show that Micro is king when it comes to Wood Elves versus the Beastmen. What an awesome match here. But let's have a look here for the Beastmen. So 770 for Torox, the Brass Ball. 1037 for the Bray Shaman of Wild. 727 for the War Gore. And 821 for the Gore Ball. 302 and 338 for the Tuscal Chariots, a little bit low on the side for them, but also looks like 115, 169 for the Chaos Warhounds and for the Poison, 80 and 252. 199, 195 and 157 for the Harpies with 933 for the Razor Gore Herd, very good from them, and 580 with 365 for the Feral Manticores. And an excellent build here from Robert Duck of War, clearly assuming that we're going to be seeing some level of Tusk or Chariots and lots of large single entities. Here with six units of spears with 393, 330, 260, 400, 270 and 110 here from the Eternal Guards. But here from the sisters, we got 1,570. Some good anti-large armor sundering shots from her up against the Manticores with 1,205 from the Spellsinger with that gorgeous Dwellers Below. As we can see here, 680 from the Sisters of Thorn with 1,018 from the Zotes and also 1,800 from the second unit. And also the beautiful Forest Dragon coming in at 1,472 damage value. Some excellent entities here to really challenge this Beastman build. But guys, I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, please smash that like button and also drop a comment down below about what you thought about it as well. If you are new here, please feel free to subscribe as it would really help the channel. And also you can drop down in the description and find my Discord. Feel free to join. Anybody is welcome. You can see all of the single player, multiplayer, leagues and tournaments currently going on here in the community. If you'd like to see your video just like this one up on the channel, you guys can also send it in there for replays for casting. Other than that, I've been your boy Logic. Take care of yourself during these times, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care.